Okay, to build a cover over a deck uh, on a budget, this is one way. Uh, this is a longtime friend. I've been working for them for a long time. We've done metal skirting, metal roofing, rebuilt the interior floors, uh, fixed bathrooms, and plumbing, and da 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 da. Now it's, uh, he wants to keep and preserve his handrails and his deck, even though he could probably do better. But this is what he wants, and that's what my goal is to make their life better by their goals. Now, uh, he wanted to be wider than the deck, so we went on the side of the handrail, leveled up, we measured over 12 inches, did the same over here. Then I did a layout, and after measuring it, I bought the wood, which would be less than, it would be closer to 14 foot, 11 or 12, so I bought a 16 footer, did the layout, and then found out that if I did it right, I reduced another three and a quarter inches, smaller than what we had, in which I reduced it that way. It falls out with a two foot layout. In this case, you don't want to go with a 2 by 6 more than 10 feet to span the distance because the weight ends up making it bow. So, we have that, um, and we're going to build on these two ends, we're going to put 4 by 4s to support a 2 by 6 So, in, in, or, in order to do things expediently and then in the budget, this 2 by 6 that we did a layout on, I had two more one for that end laid it out next to it transferred the marks and then the one that I'm supporting I made the marks on the top of it so that I could fasten it to the four before that I'm putting here and have them already marked where it goes so this has all been done now in this case instead of just relying on the screws I'm going to take these boards which we pre drill so they wouldn't split and put it up against here so that we can literally put the two by six uh, up against that and screw here and I might put a couple at an angle maybe in three at an angle so I have a lot of screws into it to hold it in place and it's a little cleaner than having a bracket down here which you couldn't put a roof or a ceiling on it without having humps around those brackets you have to strip the ceiling to do it. so this is where we're at we'll take you and show you when we get it up here it's up here now, and we have a lot of screws in it. We're hitting plywood that's behind, and now the newer ones don't have plywood, so you'd have to find the studs and uh, so on and so on. If you see how this is starting to show a little bit more right here as it goes down, that's because that siding over there has not been, it's not been put up properly. Uh, that being said, I still would probably put support under here, and I'm gonna encourage him, but that wasn't part of our agreement to do that, um, but that's what we're doing right now. Now we're ready to do our supports over here and over here, which is handrails are not built very well, but he said he likes them like they are, and uh, I'm gonna go with that. So I'm gonna put a four before here, and a four before there, and it will, uh, this is level, and so I know that in order to have a three inch fall, I wanna have a minimum of three inches of fall so the snow doesn't stay on there too long in 10 feet or so I've got 45 inches to the bottom over there so if I went to 43 inches to the bottom over here or to the top over there uh, 43 inches or 42 inches to the top over here would get us a three inch fall from there to here so that's what I'm doing next and I'll show you how I did that uh, layout which is for all three of them Two of them with it all the way across, and this one just at the top, so we know where to put the two by sixes. It's a noisy place. Uh, we're still leaving these braces for now. When we put, <coughs> put one in, which I'll probably put one here and then one over there, and we'll check for level. We'll fasten it over there, and we'll check for level this way, get it level, and then fasten. Now we know we're level this way also. Right now we know for sure we're this way. So that's what we're doing next. We put one on one side, secured it over there. We got four screws, two into this, and then two at an angle. Put it over here and leveled it, put a screw in it, 
torn out it from both sides, so it's got three screws in it. Come over to this one, set it on top, push that one up, four screws, two straight in, four, uh, two at an angle, leveled it, put a screw in, now we got this whole side level. We just kept putting them all together. Just like that. Everything has at least three screws in it, at least. Then we went on the outside, put that board on the outside. Being as I want a 12 foot cover, I had to cut these boards, allowing for an inch and a half on that side, an inch and a half on that side, being three inches shorter to make it 12 with those boards on each end, 12 foot. Now we're gonna put the one by fours on top on two foot centers. We're gonna use inch and a half screws to go through the three quarter, in the three quarter, all the way down. Then when we get to the last two, we'll take our braces loose, we'll be strong by that time. Get all the one by fours, the screws on, starting from the outside this way. Of course, it, right away it's stiffened up, there's no movement, so we could take those last two that we're going against here. We got two foot centers, everything screwed. We're going to end up getting over here with a sawzall and cutting that off and putting metal on. Screwing it all together, no nails. Well, now it's all sealed up. Got the raking corner on. Put the edge on to keep any driving rain from coming up whenever we put the edge on. We sealed the top with caulking, screwed into each of the ribs. Got every other one. I done screw the roof to the top and peel it back to be able to get your screws underneath there. Then fasten it all back down. And now it's done.